Hello, so today's gonna to be a pretty chill one. I've come out to the field today because I just replaced both the GPS units on these guys from what they had before, which is M8, and I've updated them now to M10. Basically on the five inch, I was having some issues with this GPS. It was giving me, it was like dropping out time to time and then flashing, jumping between like 12 and eight, and it was a bit all over the place. So it was definitely time to replace this one. I thought while I'm at it, I'll upgrade the six inch too. So I've come out today, I'm just gonna do a basic GPS test. We're gonna do a GPS rescue test and also a complete fail safe test. And I also wanna see if putting the M10 GPS on has fixed the issue I was having with my um, statistics screen at the end because it wasn't showing me my total distance covered. So hopefully that fixes that. So let's get some batteries in. Let's get the landing pad set out and let's just have some uh, fun testing. <laughs> okay, so just heading out now, I'm just gonna put the landing pad down. I want around 10 meters sort of circle around it. So I've got plenty of space for these guys to land. Over there, you'll be able to see there is a, a water sprinkler going off. Can you see? I don't know. But anyway, there is, and I don't want to be anywhere near that. So I want to be somewhere with fairly short grass too, because I don't fancy cleaning the grass off of these guys. So I think around, around about there is going to be fine. So let's go back and plug a battery in, see if we pick up any satellites. Something else I also want to see is I previously done GPS rescue testing with these quads before and the five inch kind of landed one time about three meters away and the next time almost 10 meters away. So I want to see it land consistently closer to the home point. That would be a plus. And the six inch, the six inch was already landing pretty close. So as long as it maintains how close it was landing within sort of a five meter radius, then I'll be a happy boy. Let's get testing. Okay, the five inch is plugged in now and we're just gonna see how many satellites? Aha, we've got satellites coming already. We've got six. Now I need eight to get a full arm. So let's see how long that takes. We've got six pretty quickly there and we, we're good. We're up to 10 already. Okay, that's pretty promising. I'm gonna let it keep going and get a few more and then I'm gonna arm it and we're gonna just do, just fly around a little bit first and just check to see that it's not doing any weird things that it was before. I also changed the GPS cable in case there was an issue going on with the cable too. But yeah, we're gonna, I wanna see. I need to make sure that this is all good, but. Fingers crossed it will be. Okay, I'm gonna take off now. We've got 15 satellites. That should be plenty to get a nice, accurate home position locked in. Let's take off. And let's just see how this guy behaves. See if we suddenly jump up to a really high sat count. I'm expecting this to jump up and we should get somewhere close to 30 sats. We've got a nice big open space to play with here. Now before when I also I was doing a high throttle punches, I would lose sats. Aha, it lost it again. So there might be something else going on with this quad. I don't know, it is weird. Okay, let's do a quick GPS rescue test. Let's get it somewhere it's gonna be nice and safe. So somewhere safe that I can also recover it <laughs> if I need to. So we'll go round about here. GPS rescue now. So it should come up and make its way back. I'm going up to the maximum altitude. Didn't realize I'd gone this high before, but I guess I had. <laughs> Making our way back. Okay. Let me just have a look, to see if it's somewhere nearby. Okay, yeah it is, it's nearby. I'm ready to cancel it if I need to, but it's looking pretty good. It is pretty windy today too, which is not gonna help. Okay, we're looking pretty close. Let me take you with me. Oh, up and down, up and down. There we go. Oh, I don't even know if you could see that there. Okay, so we have landed here and there is the takeoff point. That's pretty good. That's probably two and a half meters. Okay, pretty happy with that. I think I do need to still look into seeing why we are getting um, GPS loss on high throttle punches. Maybe I'll change the UART that the GPS is on, but um, for now it seems to be working. I'm gonna get it back in the sky. I'm gonna do a full fail safe test. So I'm gonna turn off the radio and see what it does. Still not showing me my total distance covered on the end screen, which is a bit weird, but anyway, we'll carry on. So let's take off again. And we'll get ready to do a full uh, fail safe, so we're gonna turn off the radio. I will be ready to turn it back on if I need to, but I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. Let me just go up a little bit higher just to make sure he has enough altitude. Let's get to a safe point. Let's 
So around about here. Uh, I'm going to turn off the radio. If I can get to the switch. Now turning it off. Our Exolos GPS rescue is engaged. And we should be heading back this way. I'm going to get ready to turn the radio back on. You can see in the top left corner, we've got zero there on the uh, link quality. Looks like it's making its way back. I'm ready to turn it on if I need to. Okay, looks like it's making its way back. Let's have a look. Check where he is. Yeah, it's coming back. Okay, let's, uh, let's head out a little bit. I'm ready again if I need to. I'm ready again if I need to switch it back on, but it's looking like it's gonna be pretty close again. It's not liking the wind. <laughs> okay, here you go, I'll let you see it. There it is coming down, and there you can see the home point. This is gonna be pretty good. Wow, it's gonna be closer than it was before. Look at that. Radio off, full fail safe, and it's back where it needs to be. <laughs> Okay, this is one drone down. I'm gonna test the other one and just make sure that one's okay too. But at the moment, pretty happy with this. Like I said, I might look into the um, GPS loss on punch outs. Might be, I don't know, is it, maybe it's a capacitor issue? I don't know. If you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, let's change it over. Okay, six inches down now. We've got six. Oh, we've actually just got a lock there. Eight, 11 satellites. That picks up roughly the same sort of time as the five inch actually. So I'm going to leave it to sit there for a little bit longer. Again, just want to get a few more stats to try and get a really accurate position lock. Then we're just going to run the same tests again. So yeah, what do we got now? 15, 15, okay. I think that should be plenty. We should have a pretty accurate position at that point. So let me just stop this recording and then it'll start again when I arm. So we're going to arm now. Okay, let's take it up, have a look. Now, if I do a hard punch on this, let's see if we lose the sat. Now, they stay pretty stable. Oh no, we did lose them on there too. Okay, maybe it might just be at really massive thr <laughs> throttle output that um, we're just pulling too much power away from everything else. Let's do a GPS rescue test. We should have had plenty of altitude at this point, so let me find a nice safe place to do this. Again, we're going to go roughly here because I know this ground isn't soaking wet. Activating GPS rescue and we're off. Going up, see if we're going to turn the right direction. We're going up high. Did I go this high? <laughs> okay, it's making its way back. I'm just going to be ready to cancel it in case something goes wrong with this one. Okay, let me have a look with, the, with my bare eyes. It's finding its home point, okay. Okay, pretty good. It looks to be roughly where it needs to be. Let's make a move a bit closer. Oh, the wind. Okay, let me just put that down in case I need to cancel this. It is moving around an awful lot. Oh my God. Not liking how this is moving. No, I canceled it. It's really moving around a lot there. That was not good at all. Okay, let me put the goggles back on. Yeah, it was really diving around there. It was not, not optimal behavior at all. Let me just do a second test and see. But yeah, that was very, very bizarre. Engage in GPS rescue and let's see. See this time. <laughs> but weird if it's worse on this than it was on the M8, but um, we'll have a look. It's gone up high moving back it really overshot there okay it's looking a bit better this time it appears to have found the home point and it's descending pretty predictably still going to be ready in case it does something weird again Okay, I think we should be okay. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can have a look. All right, let's get a bit closer. Should be okay. And we're down, okay. <laughs> let's go take a closer look. That was a really, really weird first, um, first test. And I'll describe it, it was just like swooping around as if it couldn't really lock back onto where it was supposed to be for that home point. So um, we're a bit further away this time. We're probably, five meters away I would imagine something like that so we're pretty far 
I'm a bit reluctant to just go ahead and do a full fail safe test right away. So I'm just going to do another GPS rescue test and just see how it does there and then we'll do fail safe. Okay, let's run that six inch GPS rescue test again and we'll have a, have a look. So we're armed, 21 sats. Let's go back over to where we were. Should be more than enough height here. Let's fly around a little bit more actually because Maybe it was because it couldn't get a, uh, an accurate compass heading or something because we hadn't really done much flying. Let me just fly around a little bit. Okay, let's get ready to do the test again. Okay, and GPS rescue now. Up she goes. I've left it in angle mode to make it a little bit easier for me if I need to cancel it. Okay, it's heading back. It's looking pretty good. Let's have a look. Pretty big overshoot there, but it's coming back. Okay, it appears to have found a home point. It's descending. It's looking pretty good. Let's move in. I'm ready to cancel it if I need to. It's looking pretty good. Nice and gently. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, we appear to have got a slightly better result that time. I think, like I said, that might be because I didn't really do any forwards flying in the first bit. And sometimes you have to fly forwards a bit for the GPS to kind of get a compass heading, if that makes sense. Might not, but anyway. About the same distance, about five meters away. So now I'm gonna do a full fail safe test. I think it should be okay. Okay, goggles down. And again, it's not showing me the total distance traveled, but hey, it is what it is. Let's get everything back to where it needs to be. Air mode and taking off. Let's go. Wait, my fingers feel weird. Okay, <laughs> okay taking off, let's go. Again, let's just do a little bit of flying around. We need to discharge this battery a little bit anyway, so no harm. Bit over the rice fields here. We're doing quite a lot of construction just over here. I think they're building a school. I think that's what I saw on a poster board uh, on the entrance to this place, but yeah. Seem to have a pretty, the speed's looking okay. Alrighty, let's do a fail safe. I'm just going to look into angle mode first of all. Let's get it somewhere where I'm comfortable. Okay, we're going to turn the controller off now. She was still connected. Enter to turn it off. Our X loss, GPS rescue, and off she goes. Okay, I'm going to get ready to turn this radio back on if I need to. Hopefully, I don't need to, but let's see. Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's see how she's doing. Oh my God, it's going all over the place. Oh no, it's found the home point-ish. Yeah, okay, looking good. You spin you around, let's go have a look. Oh, I'm falling down some gaps. Whoa, this is gonna be really close. Whoa, ho ho. Hang on, just a minute. <laughs> That's the closest so far, look at this. It's about Oh, 1.2 meters, I reckon. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think the uh, the first occasion where it was just kind of going all over the place, I hadn't just flown enough. I kind of just took off and went straight there and tried to do a rescue. Let me just turn all this stuff off. Okay, angle, disarm. Helps if I turn the radio back on. So yeah, go, radio is off. <laughs> okay, turn him back on. And it should shut up. There we go, okay. Yeah, that was pretty good actually. So we landed, like I said, about 1.2, 1.5 meters away. And yeah, uh, yeah, pretty successful results all in all, I think. So um, I always like to do this if I've done something major on the quad, especially when it comes to GPS, come out, do full tests on it, make sure everything is exactly how it needs to be. Because if I just took this out now without having doing any of these tests, and I would just be thinking, oh, if I lose signal, is it actually gonna come home? Or what's gonna happen where? If I just do these few simple tests in a nice, safe, controlled environment, I know exactly what it's gonna do. So uh, yeah, also a little bit extra, just, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna trigger a GPS rescue that quickly in real time, in real life anyway, but it's nice to know just to remember, do a bit of flying around first. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off draining this battery and then we'll round this video up. Also a little sneak peek for those of you watching this right now, take a look at this. Freewell has just dropped their 04 Pro ND filters 
and these guys always knock it out of the park. I'm so happy that they actually came out and made some specific 04 Pro filters because these guys, they always just know how to do a good job. Full video on that coming out very soon. Or it might already be out. I don't know when this video is going live. <laughs> okay, so a quick roundup. Well, basically both of these two guys performed pretty much how I would have expected them to. I didn't really get anywhere when it comes to losing sats on a high punch, but it seemed to be the same with both. And I hadn't noticed that on the six inch, but maybe I just hadn't punched the throttle hard enough in order to notice it. So if that is an issue and somebody knows what it is, let me know, but the six inch is like a fresh brand new build. So I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Okay, it's just in from the future. Now I actually came back to this place again the next day. Well, today is the next day, but basically I did a bit more digging on the internet last night and I found out that on Betaflight 4.5.2, they changed the default for the GPS U-Box flight model or flight mode, one of the other, I can't remember now. I was very sleepy when I was checking this. But basically they changed the default from 4G, which it was on previous versions to 1G. Now Airborne 1G basically um, is more susceptible to interference where Airborne 4G is less susceptible to interference, but also because of things like um, 1G is, performs worse in like fast position changes and high speed where 4G performs better in that, which is why when I'm pushing the throttle and getting the drone really moving along, that's why I'm seeing the GPS freaking out. It's just because the Airborne 1G model that it was on just isn't cut out for what I was trying to do with it. So I changed it to Airborne 4G on both of them, just been out, tried them both, and we have no more GPS flushing back to zero saying uh, rescue not available. It all seems to be how it should be. So happy days. And um, yeah, I'll go back to the previous day. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, still not getting the total distance shown in my summary screen. Not sure why. Again, if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments below. I have scoured the internet and I can't seem to find the answer to that. But apart from that, they both appear to be working as expected. They're picking up satellites quick and they're holding satellites. They're actually getting to decent numbers. Maybe I think I was expecting them to get a few more satellites locked, but it's literally the first time they've ever been powered on. So that is only going to get better the more I use them in this area. And yeah, the return to home, basically they both return to home pretty good. That was a bit of a wobble with the first time with the six inch, but like I explained, I think that's just because I hadn't flown straight for a little while for, to get a bit of a, like a compass bearing and that kind of things. But it seemed to be working fine after that. And yeah, the five inch was landing closer than it was with the M8. So that's a nice improvement. And the six inch, again, that was landing even closer than it was uh, with the M8 GPS on board. Now, in realistic terms, when a GPS rescue fail safe happens, you're never gonna really let the drone do a complete return to home and land unless your transmitter battery has died. But in most cases, you're just gonna take over flying again once you regain the signal. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with how this testing went. I'm more than, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm more than comfortable now to head out of the weekend and absolutely send it. So that's gonna be it for this one. If you have enjoyed this video, you're also gonna enjoy this video right here. And if that one doesn't speak to you, then maybe this one here will instead. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>